guys, it's Carol and Taylor and the whole crew's here. Taylor and Rhett and Casey and the dogs. Um, Taylor went on her first camping trip. And so she's going to tell us about it. Now, the Texas Panhandle has had rain. Um, in May, I believe this is correct, or maybe it was April and May, we've received 10 and a half inches of rain. Our yearly average amount of rainfall is 17 inches. And then it rained, which stormed all last night. And in the afternoon, too, didn't it rain? Yes. McDonald Lake is, you can't see the parking lot. Oh, my goodness. The building's underwater, halfway underwater. The, there, there's flooding of areas all over town. Uh, all over the panhandle. We've had too much rain. <laughs> My sister saw something on Facebook that I loved. It said, whoever is praying for rain, please pray for my bank account. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my son had planned this camping trip and bought all kinds of camping equipment. And they were going to another area about Three hours away. It's Quartz Mountain State Park. Quartz Mountain State Park in Oklahoma. Um, had planned this camping trip. And they went. <laughs> and so Taylor is going to tell us about her camping, her first camping trip adventure. Okay, Miss Taylor. Uh, how was the ride down there? It was okay. We took our puppy Cassius. And and he like he really wanted to eat, and every eat everything. I'm not sure if they could hear you. Cassius is their new puppy. He's a Great Dane. Do you know how much he weighs? Uh, he weighs about 75 pounds. He weighs about 75 pounds, and he's about 14 weeks old. <laughs> he's going to be a big boy. Uh, his paws are now probably bigger than Taylor's hands. They were always bigger than my hands. He's a big dog. I, I, I'm not sure how, do how big this dog's going to get in two years, but... Anyway, since he's a puppy, they took him with them. The other dog stayed home with a dog sitter. But, okay, so Cassius went. He was okay the first couple days, and then he got sick. Cassius got sick? He got a tummy ache. Oh, no, like diarrhea? He had to go out in the middle of the night every 20 to 40 minutes. Oh, Taylor, every... Like every half hour, he had to go out to go poop. Yeah, oh. mom and dad let him out every half hour. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, so tell us you get there Friday night, and we left way later than we expected to. So it was already pretty much it was dark by the time we got our tent set up. It was dark by the time you got the tent set up. How hard was it to set up a tent? I've never set up a tent. It was pretty easy. I've set it. We've set it up and took it down before. Oh okay. We try, to, try to talk loud. I'm not sure if they can hear you because this phone doesn't. It doesn't. Hey, Grandma yells. <laughs> yeah. They'll have to turn it down for Grandma. Okay, so you got the tent set up and you're, you had air mattresses? Yeah, we all blew our little air mattresses up. Okay, and then what? Then we slept. Then, was it hard going to sleep? Um, I had a little bit of trouble, but that's because I'm used to playing music at night. But You had a little trouble because... I'm used to playing music at night. Oh, that's right. And you didn't have any music. Oh, goodness. Okay, so, so you woke up Saturday morning. What did y'all do? Well, I woke up at 5 a.m. Saturday morning. 5 a.m.? I'm an early bird. So I was the first one up. And then at 6, I went to the bathroom. And then we got our day started. And for breakfast, we made bacon. The bathroom areas are real close to your tent. Yeah, they're they? only like 100 feet away. Mm-hmm. And we made bacon and eggs for breakfast, and Rhett and Dad had a muffin. And then, since that was our first day there, we went exploring, so we just drove around to see where everything was and stuff. And then we went to the swim beach for a little bit, and we swim a little bit. They have a swim beach? Yeah. Cool. And so you got to go swimming. Was it cold? Daddy thought it was, but I didn't. Okay. So we swam for a little bit, then we went home, 
Daddy needed went a... back to the tent. You didn't go home. Yeah, we went back to the tent. And Dad was tired, so we didn't do anything else Saturday. Except... What, if, what did you do for lunch? Daddy took tons oh, of food. <laughs> we had hot dogs for lunch. Had hot dogs? Right? Did you cook them over campfire? Or... We cooked them over our little propane grill that we brought. And then for dinner, we had... We didn't do anything that afternoon... We just laid around, and then me and I went and sat in the truck and charged everybody's phones. And then for dinner, we had steak and smashed potatoes. Steak and, we, and smashed potatoes? Yeah. How did he cook those? Well, he cooked the steaks on the charcoal grill that they had there. And then he put the potatoes in the co coals before we cooked the steak. So they got kind of... They, we wrapped them in foil first, and they got kind of charred. And then we smashed them and put butter, ranch, and salt and pepper on them. Sounds good. And then we had s'mores in a campfire that night. Is that was that your first time to have s'mores that you cooked outside? No. Oh. Every time I go to Lulu's, I uh, make s'mores. Oh, Lulu's is her one of her other grandmas. She's got me, and then the kids, my kids' stepmother is their grandma, and then... Her mother's mother's Lulu. Okay, so you've had s'mores before outside. Lots of times. Okay, and then Sunday. Sunday? Or do we need to talk about Saturday night? Is that when it rained? No. Okay. Sunday well, was the big disaster. Sunday was what? The big disaster. disaster. Big disaster on the camping trip with the dog with diarrhea. Okay, tell us this. <laughs> so Sunday is when he started getting sick. That's when Cassius started getting sick. And so we started the morning off. He got sick that night. So mom was half asleep in a camping chair outside of their tent with Cassius on her lap covered up with a towel. We did forget towels. You forgot to take towels? So we had we ran ran into Altus and got a second tent to hold some stuff. And we bought some towels. Some allergy medicine that we forgot. Other things that we forgot. <laughs> Was there a Walmart in Altus? Yeah, they've got a big Walmart all there. All right. Okay, so you went shopping, got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, we did that Saturday got night, some, actually. I forgot. Oh, that was Saturday night. You got some and towels. And then Sunday. What'd you do when you went swimming and you didn't have towels? You just, we didn't. Uh, we dried. We, the sun just dried you off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know if we went to Altus. Oh, we went to Altus Saturday morning. Saturday morning you went to So we went to swim after. So we had towels. We just forgot them at the tent. You forgot to take them to the beach. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. So Sunday morning, Cassius started getting sick. Yeah, it wasn't raining. And then me and Mom went to go make some coffee. And our we, we bought a coffee pot in Altus. And the pergola about 200 feet away. I think he could have gone to Hawaii for all the camping equipment Daddy bought, but go ahead. <laughs> and uh, we went to the me and mom and Cassius, went to the little pergola that has power, and we made two pots of coffee. Oh. And put them in this, like, like large heated water bottle thing. Yeah. So and there then, was a pergola there that had power. That's yeah. good. And then we said... Oh, look, it's sprinkling. So by the time we got back to the tent, it was pretty much raining. And we couldn't really do anything while raining. We ate some muffins in Mom and Dad's tent for breakfast. Had some coffee. We played tic-tac-toe with our mom. And then we went to our separate tents for literally hours. <laughs> what would you do? Um, I had the charging block in our tent. So we, I just watched some downloaded shows on my phone, <laughs> and because we didn't bring anything to do, you didn't. I said, "Why don't you take some games?" And then I took a two-hour nap. And this is so. Now this is Sunday afternoon. This is Sunday morning. Still. Oh, this is still Sunday morning. We woke up at six. Oh, that's right. Probably seemed like lunchtime by now. Yeah. Well, who cooked lunch? Oh, uh, we didn't have lunch till about two because then it started pouring. Oh, started pouring. And couldn't... it was pouring for hours. So we were all, we were in our, me and Brett were in one tent, chilling out, so there'd be more room, and then Mom and Dad were in the other tent, chilling out, so there'd be a little more room. Mom was napping, I was napping. 
Rhett was napping, apparently. <laughs> After a couple, I ran out of, ep- I ran out of downloaded episodes, so I ended up just napping. Did and you go in, before the rain, did you go on any hikes? It started raining at like 7. Started raining 7 a.m. Sunday morning, okay. And it's about, I guess it's about 1 o'clock at this point. So it's been raining hard for all of that time. Since, oh. si- since 7 till then. And Sorry I missed this trip. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> the tent that mom and dad were chilling in yeah. was apparently flooding. Because I was like semi-asleep, semi-away. And dad zipped up, zip, un- opened the door and said, do you have your poncho? He was all, he had his poncho and his flip-flops on. He said, do you have your poncho in here? And I said, yes. And he said, our tent's flooding. We have to move it. <laughs> so... Moving a wet tent in the pouring rain. Okay. So me and Rhett, uh, all of us actually, started taking like our big containers and stuff to our tent so we could move the tent. And then we started unstaking the tent and we left our air mattress in there. And then all four of us, actually all three of us, Rhett didn't help with the moving of the tent, grabbed the tent and lifted it up and pushed it kind of carried it to a spot where it wasn't flooding because at this point we had to get at least three inches of rain already (laughs) three inches of rain (laughs) yeah and we didn't realize since it wasn't raining when we got there our tent was right where the water flows that he pitched the tent right at the low spot where the water flows okay well it wasn't a spot but when it rains it creates a path so it wasn't really a low spot until it rained okay and so water got in the big tent, and you picked it up and moved it. Was yeah, we had to move Cassius to our tent. We had to move Cassius's crate to our tent. Everybody was muddy. Like, there was in, at least an inch of water. So we all had sandals on. Our feet were, like, disgusting, covered in dirt and <laughs> mud, because the water was literally past, like... Like up to your ankles? <laughs> almost, yeah, walking around. On top around. of your feet, anyway. Our tent had water in it from leaving the door open. Of course, their tent already had water in it. Everything was a money mess. The only thing that wasn't a money mess was Cassius. I don't know how. The dog wasn't a money mess? Yeah, because Daddy... Because he'd been in his crate, I guess. No, Daddy loves his dog, and Daddy carried Cassius to the tent. Oh, (laughs) didn't carry you, Red, or Mama, but... He carried Cassius to the tent. (laughs) So Cassius wasn't muddy, but... Both of the tents were covered in mud and water and rain. On the inside? Yeah. We were all covered in water and rain. We had all our dirty shirts, using them to, like, mop our legs off and mop the tent up. <laughs> Daddy didn't bring a blanket. for he just They just have this uh, king-size sleeping bag. So Did the sleeping bag get wet? No, thankfully, like, it just started flooding through, like, the door of the tent, so it didn't actually, like, leak or anything, and then, okay, so, raining, pouring, we went back to our tents for a little bit. Finally, it stops raining. What, what, about what time was it, it's lunchtime? Probably two. Probably two in the afternoon, it finally stops raining. So, it, there was a little leak, and it just kept hitting my arm every once in a while, it wasn't bothering me. So, at this point, my shirt is, like, soaked, like, all the way right here <laughs> is sopping wet so i go to i go to my bag to change wet shirts there was a leak on my bag on my bag all my clothes were soaked all your clothes in your like did you have your clothes like in a backpack um i have them in a, like uh, this little duffel bag and then a i have bag. Bag. the bag was soaked everything in there was soaked everything in your bag was soaked oh man my shirt. Oh, help me. So, go ahead, take my shoe. Two of my pairs of shoes. Okay, rained all day Sunday, and finally you did, got some lunch. Yeah, we ended up making. I think it was hamburgers, but all my clothes were soaked. Both pairs of shoes were soaked. I was soaked. The tent was soaked. Everything was muddy. I should have took a picture. I almost did, but it was raining, so I didn't want to get my phone wet. There was, like, rapids running right by our tent where they actually have it, like, dug out almost. So when it rains, it can all flow into the river that's 100 feet the other way. Yeah. 
So there was like rapids rushing through. And my rapid sheep, water. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all take your kayaks? No. Our friend is still borrowing them. Okay, and so you had lunch, and then what? And then we ended up, we talked to this lady, our ne next door neighbor, her husband, boyfriend, friend, ended up being, knowing all my mom's family, long story short. She was telling us where to fish, because we hadn't gone fishing yet. Oh, so she we ended up we, to go fish. We ended up fishing and swimming till, like, 6 o'clock Sunday, and then we made some... Chopped up ham and some potatoes and some corn on the cob. And then Monday morning, we wanted to leave as quickly as possible because, well... I can't imagine why you'd want to leave as quickly as possible. <laughs> we wanted to get home. They home had showers, but their showers sucked. So everybody needed a shower. Everybody was ready to sleep in their own beds. Everybody was ready to go home. Cassius was ready to go home. We were ready to sleep without having to deal with him every 20 to 40 minutes. <laughs> so, we made this thing called a hash. We took leftover steak, ham, we chopped up some sausage, and then we cracked eggs over it. And it the eggs are kind of like a mix between scrambled eggs and like a fried egg. It's really good. So, that's what we made for breakfast. Rhett babysitted Cassius. And, and all three of us loaded all of the 50-pound totes into the truck, all of our tents into the truck, everything. Dad's got this, like, little rack that goes on the end of the tent tent truck now that we can stack all our totes on. And then the, then the truck was just filled with fishing poles and tent, sleeping bags, everything and above. And then we went to Mangum. We got some Cokes, and we went home. Is Mangala Town? Yes, that's where my Aunt Ginger technically lives. Oh, yeah. Okay. But my Aunt Ginger was actually in Dalhart. So she wasn't home. Okay. Yeah, we were 10 minutes away from her house, and she was 30 minutes away from ours. <laughs> so it really didn't work out great. We were going to go see Gramps, but we ended up... We were so tired of it, and we had caches, we ended up just not going, because we were so ready to get home. Yeah, everybody wanted to go home. Well... Are you anxious to go on the next camping trip? No. No? <laughs> no. Maybe Daddy will take you camping in the mountains and it won't be... Daddy said we're going to be much more prepared next time. Well, you know, uh, that's how you learn what you're going to need. You just have to do trial and error. Don't worry, we left our life jackets that we bought. You left them at home? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I'm a big believer in this. Make a list now of what all you need when you go camping and you already have your list made. Also, Dad and Rhett, neither of them brought a jacket. They didn't bring jackets and it was cold with all that rain. But at least we had ponchos to keep us... Uh, they didn't really keep us dry very well. Dad bought rain ponchos and they didn't keep you dry. Well, that was quite I mean, rain. they kind of semi-dry, but when it's pouring inches, <laughs> it's kind of hard to keep yourself dry. Oh my gosh. Um, so that was our interesting camping experience. Well, you know, I have never been camping. And I'm pretty sure I'm never going. <laughs> I've been actually I've been camping a couple times, but I've never been camping in a tent. I've gone camping a couple times with in our R V. Uh, they used to have a fifth wheel. They would yeah, that's a different kind of camping than in a tent. I would go Camping in an RV. Okay, Casey says it's time for lunch. She made us King Ranch chicken soup. It's a cold, dreary looking day. Sky is just gray. The weather guy said another thunderstorm should be here by 2 p.m. It's now 12, so we've got another system, and it should rain the rest of the day. <laughs> um we're getting a rain. There used to be a joke that everybody told about how our average rain fall for a year is 17 inches. And on that day that we get the 17 inches, well, that's almost true. If we had 10 and a half inches before the rain started yesterday, I bet we got a, got a good two or three inches last night. It's just the lightning all evening and all night was just awful. It... Uh, <laughs> 
we're ready to have some dry weather now. Okay, guys, we're going to stop this now. Oh, it's a long one. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you about the sewing project. We started it last night. Okay, talk to you later, guys. I'm fine. It's the, Today's the 1st of June. I tell you, I am not going to sleep June away. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I am not sleeping all through June. I have a doctor's appointment on Monday with that nurse practitioner. It, it, several of you said, I bet your family's mad about the nurse practitioner. Well, we're all disappointed that she told me just to quit cold turkey and I was too loopy to know... Don't do that. But I'm lucky. Here's Rhett. I'm lucky to have her because there are just so few psychiatrists in our town and a lot of people that need one. So uh, that's why I see her on a TV when she's in Mississippi and I'm in Texas. And the psychiatrist she works under is in San Antonio, which is like five or 600 miles away, I guess. Um, I'm lucky to be able to have her uh, because... All the psychiatrists in town are there. They aren't taking new patients, and I just have Medicare, so that's also a problem. Where did Casey go? It's, honey, I'm recording a video, and you asked me where Casey is. <laughs> um, I, I'm just fortunate to be able to, to see anybody at the <laughs> clinic that I go to. Okay, I'll to, we'll have a video about our sewing project tomorrow because we're finishing it today, and so. Tomorrow's video is going to be sewing. <laughs> See you guys. Have a wonderful day. Stay dry if you can. I asked my daughter-in-law if the puppy could actually weigh 75 pounds at four months. And she said, actually, by now, he probably weighs a little bit more. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. Leave me a comment. You guys were awesome in the last video. I met several of you that I'd never heard from before. And I so appreciate it. I really appreciate knowing who's watching, and I appreciate you even if you just said hi or anything. So thank you so much for the thumbs up, and thank you for the comments. I appreciate you guys more than you know. I will see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye.